listen, the experiences have been fantastic, not only in Europe and Canada, but also my own playing experiences, Australia, wherever. All to say, I'm coming to, to Mexico with a vast experience and knowing what the modern game of women's football needs, um, where the, the trends are going and sort of how to elevate and amplify the players. Um, so I'm coming with a really clear idea on how to make what they have and their talents, which they are a very talented and uh, yeah, a winning team and how to improve the processes and the structure, uh, which I can add. Yeah, it's, uh, I think of it in three ways, like the mindset of the team is going to be learning the new style, which is going to be you know, higher pressing, um, collective pressing, making sure we possess for longer periods of time and then when we lose it, we are hungry to get it back. Um, those are some of the identity pieces. Um, and then there's also the skill sets, uh, which we already have. The Mexican players here are some of the best in the world and what I've seen in terms of like real talent, especially in and around goal. It, it's really special. Um, but I can add structure. I can add organization. Um, not that individuals will solve positional problems, that it's groups and units and also the team, right? A real team effort and a connected one. So that's what, I'm, that's what we are working on every day. Um, I see myself being, you know, a calm coach on the sidelines. I'm not, you know, I'm very much, uh, if the work wasn't done in the week, it's not like I can coach from the sideline and get it done that. So you're going to see a very calm and composed coach, um, passionate, but calm and composed. And I see that, I, I just feel the energy when I visualize it. Um, it gives you that, that feeling in your stomach that I think we all really appreciate in football and it's special. So I can't wait to feel that with the fans and, and for the players. Yeah, that daily training environment, that's the, the highest currency in women's football is somewhere to play <laughs> every day with good environment. So yes, I have seen an improvement, mostly in the youth levels as well, because you know I was a youth national team coach for Canada in the U15, U17 and U20 cycles. And you see the growth of Mexico competing every single time in those finals. Um, it's because of the league. It's because uh, players are arriving to international fixtures uh, ready. <laughs> ready to perform and um, yeah I think it's going to continue to contribute to, to the players quality and readiness. I'll be honest the spirit the joy that this team has the singing the dancing the actual true joy that football brings this this team has it and I, it's so contagious um, things can get stressed things can get you know uh, everyday routines um, you know, but really when they come to work every day and they're smiling and they're they're wanting to, uh, they really enjoy what they do, I find that very special. This Tigris group has a, a great spirit. Might need to think about that. Three words that's <laughs> gonna define our season. That's a big question, you know. Um, I would say a balance of, I would say growth. So you're gonna see a better team every week. That's the goal. Growth, um, performance and class. <laughs>